What's up, Aries? This is Soul. And Aries, this is your bi-weekly messages beginning uh, April 8th and ending April 22nd, 2019. The messages are for uh, Aries Sun, Aries Moon, Aries Rising Signs as well. All right, Aries, I hope all is well. I do want to celebrate. I want to, <laughs> yeah, I want to celebrate with you, but I wanted to uh, wish all those Aries who are celebrating their birthday during this two week period of time, a very happy, safe birthday celebration. And also I can make, uh, make it official here. We can, um, for all those who, uh, Aries who celebrate uh, Easter, happy Easter to you, uh, because the readings end on the 22nd and I do believe a, yeah, April 21st is Easter. So, all right. So new two weeks i hope there's good tidings for you guys or you know it's been happening for you guys and all those aries who have celebrated their birthday prior during the last two weeks i hope all is well uh so yeah i basically took all the reversal cards that i had in the deck in this deck uh from the previous two week and you know turned them all upside right shuffled real hard then I spread them out and then I selected 10 more cards and put those in reverse. But I don't know which ones um, are in the reverse. I won't know unless or until they show up in the uh, readings that I'm about to do. You're the first sign that I'm reading for. So we will have to wait and see what cards do pop up. All right. So <coughs> without further ado, Aries, excuse me. The shadow card energy may be energy that... Um, comes out or plays along with the rest of the energies that is being selected for you if it is a major then it carries more weight as i always say but because i say it doesn't mean that it <laughs> has to carry a lot of weight it, it, it means whatever it is for you okay so let's begin the shadow card energy for you aries is the seven of pentacles so working hard so some of you may be focused on work trying to get those coins Trying to get that money together. So work in progress is the seven of pentacles as always. The seven of pentacles represent work in finance. And this particular card is work in progress and working hard uh, to get that income. So there's nothing wrong with that. Seven of pentacles in the upright represents uh, the earth energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. That also could be uh, energy related to some money coming in for you, Aries. Uh it could be, you know, from the job or it could be outside of the job, but there's a little bit of money coming in here uh, for you. All right. So we have the overall energy, unfortunately, starting off with the eight of cups. OK, in the upright position. Wow. All right. So this is not always about walking away, but then Aries is trying to leave something behind and it's uh, impacting your emotions. Hmm could be impacting or affecting your emotions cups represent children for me so this is a general reading so the information that comes through is open uh for a whole bunch of uh you know situations that could be um taking place in your current life so whatever that eight of cups means for you in the upright position that may be the focus for some of you for the two week period of time, or maybe just for one or two of you that I'm reading for. And then, you know, it is related to relationships. So it could be platonic. It could be romantic. It could be, um, it could be a work situation, you know, something that you're just emotionally drained or tired of, and you don't want to deal with it no more. Uh, it doesn't always physically mean walking away. It just means that you're turning your back on that energy, uh, because you don't want to deal with it. And then it also too, because I am doing your reading Aries, it could represent someone else, um, who is coming across as very sensitive, uh, over overtly emotional, um, and it may be just them, but you're dealing with them. OK, so keep that in mind. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female represents that eight of cups. Next up after the eight of cups is the uh, OK, here's their first reversal. Seven of wands. So this is the ending of um, battles and struggles, if you want to look at it that way. But I don't always get the wands in, in terms, especially the seven and the nine as battles and struggles. It could be that. Oftentimes, let me just show you the card in the upright position is for you to stand your ground, stand your position. All right. Because you feel like <clears throat> if you made up your mind about something and then someone comes along and tries to change your mind, it could be any types of opposition. Uh, following that eight of cups, it could be um, that you stood your position on dealing with some sort of emotional 
uh, aspect of a relationship, whatever that relationship uh, is or means f for you. Again, the cups could represent children. So I'm giving you enough information so that you can work with. All right. So seven of wands is your energy and that energy of the other fire signs, uh, Sagittarius and Leo, male or female. But this is o getting over uh, having to stand your uh, position. OK, not bending your um, stance. And it may be directed from, you know, towards someone that because um, this is regarded as the past position sometimes, Aries, when I read. But it's still part of your energy for the two week period uh, coming up. So it could be that you had in the past had stood your ground and dealing with some sort of emotional aspect. If it's not an Aries that I'm reading for who is dealing with some sort of emotional stuff directly then it's in relationship to other people or you know other relationships family uh romantic children all come into play all right so the card that comes up after the seven of wands aries is oh this is definitely your energy this is the ace of wands okay so the ace of wands is showing up in the upright so this is a card of inspiration it's also a card of news and surprises ace of wands eight of wands page of wands for me always is the news that's uh, you know coming or the arrival of some type of news good news and it's more likely good news when it's in the upright and then also too it could be some type of uh, surprise coming in so with that being said it could be that uh, depending on the uh, rest of the cards that uh, show up here then I can, can really complete the story. But this is just the start of something new, being inspired to start something new. There's a lot of inspiration coming in with this Ace of Wands that's representing your energy and the energy of Leo and Sagittarius. All right. Next card up is the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody might be inspired on the job since the Seven of Pentacles is your base or your shadow energy. This could be a promotion. This could be a pay raise. This is a court card. So this is the knight in shining armor. Someone could come along and give you uh, some, you know, uh, type of financial assistance. Now, it may not always be related to money, but it could be uh, advice, but it's related to money. Okay. Not necessarily uh, physical money, but it could be advice and relate in relationship to, uh, you know, investments or, you know, um, <clears throat> Some other type of financial, um, you know, stock or something like that. But this is the knight in shining armor. This is a, st a stable person. This is a secure person. So it could be if it's a relationship, um, depending on, again, what the rest of the cards unfold and tell, especially when it comes underneath this knight of pentacles. But I'm going to say that it follows the ace of wands. That's the start of something new, being newly inspired could be with finances, could be with uh, your work or your career, could be a new job, a start of a new job. Pentacles represent work and finance. So let's see. All right. So what's up next after that Nine of Pentacles uh, representing the earth energies again, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo, male and female. We have OK, we have the chariot. So this is positive energy moving forward. OK, the chariot for me. Oftentimes, uh, I equate that energy with the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled uh, and manifested. So in this two week period of time, now the chariot represents cancer and the other water signs, um, Scorpio and Pisces. So underneath that uh, eight of cups there, I wonder if uh, Aries was dealing with a, <clears throat> a cancer that was emotional or there was some other type of sensitivities going on. But that's neither here or there. Okay, but the chariot, the only, you know, this is a very positive card because it's a ma uh, major. But the only thing that I always pick up <laughs> with is that, Aries, please, during this two-week period of time, pay attention to the speed limits because I don't want you guys to end up getting uh, a speeding uh, ticket or a traffic violation. All right, so, but this is a good card. Uh, things positively moving forward. All right. So next up after that major arcana, the chariot. Now we have more energy of yours, the four of wands. So this is the card of happiness. Okay. This is the happy home, happy family. Okay. This is the card of, uh, for me in terms of, um, the energies that I pick up is, you know, moving, possibly relocation uh this is housing so it could be purchasing a home moving to a different residence this is the card of cohabitation for me you could be moving in with someone someone moving in with you um 
and it could be it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic it could be you know a friendship it could be a family member there's movement here okay there's movement here but it's a happy card uh it's a card of happiness all right so greater things to come especially because it's following this chariot all right positive things moving forward so either someone is uh contemplating changing their residence okay i think i have to select another car for you i don't know how i screwed that up aries but i will i will do that um Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay, Four of Wands is here in the upright position as the happiness card and all those things that I mentioned before. I don't want to uh, repeat myself, but I just want to continue to move on. And then the card that comes up next is the Page of Swords. Okay, so this is in the upright position. This is getting to the truth and the heart of any matters and relationship to you and the dealings with other people. All right, this is the court card. So absence of cups. Now, Besides the Eight of Cups, the Chariot is still a cup card or a water energy. So it could be a relationship, okay? Could be a relationship based on the Page of Swords showing up here as younger energy and then the Knight being like middle-aged, uh, closer to, uh, you know, like 35, 45 in that uh, age range. So that could be a new development of a relationship, but somebody needs to... Um, someone definitely needs to have some type of expression or expressing themselves. And I think the eight of cups is coming in because it's related to that expression. Something that you need to tell someone, talk to someone about, clear something up. That's the uh, energy of the swords, clearing of energy, cutting away confusion or uncertainty. Uh, and when I say the heart of the matters, that could be uh, not only for romantic relationships but that could be platonic friendships that could be family situations just getting to the truth okay and you will arrive at the truth and then there's a lot of determination based on this uh page of swords showing up in the um page of swords showing up in the upright okay so i know what i did wrong uh aries so i'm just going to ram randomly pick a card from the deck to make it your last card and it's a good card it's the nine of cups all right nine of cups energy is uh and it mirrors the chariot so that's even more interesting so this is the yes answer to of course romantic uh questions but you know what i always say that but it's also the yes answer to anything that's you know involving emotions or relationships with others not just romance it could be the family it could be children it could be something but something happens and this also could be coming in as part of the energy related to those aries who are celebrating their birthday okay this is how you're feeling by the end of that two week period of time. And I don't know if the cutoff for your birthday is on the 22nd, but isn't that if it is, I have to check it out. I'm not really sure. Um, but this is right in line in terms of the energy here. And then it's underneath the um, Knight of Pentacles, which could be the job. Yes, to a job. Yes, to a promotion. Yes, to the relationship that I had mentioned, because the cups represent the uh, relationships. And I also, too, uh, equate this Nine of Cups with the star card energy, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. And ironically, it is mirroring the chariot. So this is good energy to um, finish your birthday month. And let's just hope that, you know, this Eight of Cups is only uh, for someone that I'm reading for and it's, you know, you're dealing with it and you're going to be dealing with it definitely through the Page of Swords energy. Or it could be, like I had said earlier, the energy of other people that you're dealing with. OK, you just don't you don't want to deal with it, but they might be someone who is uh, deeply emotional or overly sensitive uh, sometimes, you know, with the words. Uh, with the page of swords, sometimes when things are said, because Aries has a tongue, okay? Not all Aries. Aries says, <laughs> let me put it this way. Aries speaks what's on their mind. They don't hold nothing back. And sometimes the words will come out a little bit harsh. And then if you're talking to someone who is sensitive, like the Eight of Cups, water signs, not all water signs, but anybody else who has a very uh, sensitive nature, then, you know, this could be them, okay? And feeling like 
you just said something to them to upset them or create some sort of emotional distance uh, between you. All right. So but whatever it is, uh, by the end of the two weeks, you should be faring pretty well with the nine of cups underneath the uh, knight of pentacles. OK, somebody. And remember, the base card is the seven of pentacles working, you know, to get those coins and saving money. And so work in progress. The work in progress could be relationships with others, whatever it is that you're inspired to do based on the ace of wands. So there's a lot of inspiration uh, coming through in this spread. OK, so take advantage of this. And I hope the energy bodes well with you, Aries. And for that, that's all I have for you. So until I talk to you again, please, Aries, be safe. Take care. Bye.